Okay, I'm back. Um, here's the transmitter, the radio transmitter that I have for my um, for my controller, which is the um, Spectrum DX7. And I did an unboxing for this. Um, I'll probably put it up before this video, but here it is. So this is the this is the receiver for it, not the transmitter, the receiver for it. So I'm gonna need this. Need this this uh, three wire servo three wire servo extension cable beveled. See, they don't really show you a really good picture of that. I guess it's any of these. Hold on one second. Let me see how many of those you're supposed to have because it looks like a bunch of them. Um, three wire extension cable bezel beveled. There's six of them. Okay, so I've got a bunch of them over here. So you just need one of these. Um, they're all the same. I need one of those, and it says I need a zip tie, one, one to four zip ties, depending on where, uh, where I'm attaching things. Um, I do not have the model there. Oh, yeah, I do have the model they're showing. So if I put it like this, this one's going to go into, it says basically take your receiver to determine the correct orientation to plug the cable into the unit. Many receivers have some sort of symbol such as an arrow or plus or minus. This one, um, yeah, it has minus plus and then like a square wave. All right, well, anyway, um, they showed me, luckily I bought this from the company. They recommended this one, so they showed me exactly what I need to plug in. So it's gonna plug into, um, this is the AR8000. So for the AR8000, it's going to plug black wire towards me, and it's going to go on the throttle. So that's the second one up, and it actually says throttle on it. It says throttle, T-H-R-O, right there, throttle. And it goes black wire towards me, plugs right in there. Um, Oh, well, I'm actually going to plug in a bunch of them. So I'm going to plug in, I'm going to use all of these. Why did I only say, oh, I need all six. I didn't read that part. Sorry. Didn't read ahead a lot. So I'm going to need, um, the black wire goes towards me on all of these as far as I can tell. Yeah. Black wire goes towards me, and I'm going to turn plug in the um, throttle, the Aileron, A-I-L-E, I guess, Aileron, 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 Aileron. I'm not a flight person, you can tell. Um, and I need elevation, black wire towards me again. And I need um, rudder, which is the next one up. I'm assuming I'm just gonna plug in all these in a row, but I'm gonna make sure, rudder. Then I've got gear. What gear does for this one? Gear and I have auxiliary one. Yeah, so they literally they're literally plugged straight in a row on this particular controller from um, throttle all the way over. And if you have a different controller than than uh, or receiver, that's that's what you plug them into. Now locate the pin on the signal cable to the left side of the flag receiver port is written on the PC board. Mm. Okay, so it's not that. It's going to be the other side. So it's going to be... Um, side the pins are towards me over here and the front's like to the left okay the throttle cable goes into the very uh, the furthest left the black wire is on the bottom and the white wire is on the top so they're going to plug into this little board right here, furthest left, and the throttle goes into the first set over. So it goes throttle, 
I think they go in the order. Aileron, elevation, rudder, gear, auxiliary one. Yeah, so they just go in order. So white wire on top, right? White wire on top. This one and this one. Be nice if these could have been routed in some other way. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that after the fact. It says basically for this one, um, Hold on. If you have this one that goes out of the side, I can basically plug it in and lay it right on the bottom. Um, yeah, it's saying run all my cables up through. Um, up through. Hold on, I wonder if I missed something. Hold on, let me go back just a second. Because all my um, ESC boards are still loose, and, but from the diagram, it looks like they're all um, tied down. And I don't, okay, they're loose there. No, I guess I'm okay. Okay. It looks like they were kind of tucked out of the way. I just want to make sure. Okay. So let me pull these back out. These can actually go up through here and over this way. Pressure knows one at a time now that I think about it. Okay. Yeah, throttle, white wire on top. And then the next one, don't know what it is, but it doesn't really matter because they go in order. And it's basically saying for this one, I can mount it like right here with a zip tie and I'll be in good shape. Um, yeah. Because it does have a pretty good picture. Um, Okay. 
I'm going to turn it over. That's cheap. That's some cheap plastic right there. I've got some good ones if these don't work. I also don't know how tight they need to be. I mean, I'm assuming you don't want it flying off while you're in the air. But um, yeah, I didn't even pull that one that hard. It just snapped right into it. Now you should be able to grab these and pull them a little bit to get them really good and tight. But if they break, that's not helping you at all. Alright, and then you cut the loose ends off. And there you go. And then it's saying the, this other end of the antenna, it's showing a picture of, like I said, of this specific one. Um, you can mount it on the other side. So this can actually go over, uh, they're showing it like, put it between that pad and they're showing it kind of over here. Um, and it's putting the zip tie between those two long ones. about that one I might put another one right here on the top too just to be sure like I said I'd rather not come off and that one's not super tight so I'd rather really make sure Okay, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Pull this little antenna wire out. Yeah. Alright, there we go. That's what it looks like when they're zip tied on. Okay. So connect PC board power cable and secure battery. 
So we need the assembly, we need the power cable, which was this, and we need fully charged battery, which I do have. Um, so we're going to plug the power cable into the back of the power distribution board I've shown. It really doesn't say which one, but it's near the USB plug. I can see the USB plug on there. So, where's the USB? Okay, right, here's the USB plug. And it's showing, plugging the, um, of course, the power of the red, it goes to the positive, And the black goes to the negative. Triple check that those are correct. They are. Um, okay, for the with this upside down, it says we're going to mount the battery, which is right here. Um, which I need to take this tape off. It drives me crazy. Hold on. This is the tape that held the cables in when you when they when you bought it. It's not it's not structural. It was just holding the cables down. I'm gonna take it off. Okay. Alright, so it says to upside down side the battery through the straps so the battery face leads face the back of the the elevate. So this is the that's the front, so this is the back. And it's basically where these power cables come through. That's where you want that. And they have it like this. They actually got the exact same battery I did because I bought this battery again from them. So, um, and you want to put it kind of in the middle so everything's kind of balanced. All right, take one end of the strap and pull firmly to tighten. What the deal is, is this one has, um, I'll show you, it has a little strap right here. You hold onto that, hold onto this part, and as long as you kind of pull it down and push both of them down, that battery is not going anywhere. And that's it. So now we're on to the software, and um, now I need to, to get the transmitter. The transmitter is not quite charged up yet, um, so what I need to do is I need to. Um, let that finish charging up but it's pretty much this is pretty much built except for getting it all set up and getting the props and all that stuff but it's pretty much built so um and again i don't think you do you must do the uh, esc boards later because i remember seeing that but um but it must not be until you make sure your wires are all good and tight up yeah it's it's on later once you make sure they're, they're all your props are turned the correct way then you strap them down. So that's a little ways off. So, um, okay, got the software installed. It wasn't too bad. Um, I did have an issue where I actually ended up calling tech support and I feel stupid about it too. Um, I was actually hitting, there's two ways to load ROM in, or to load the program into the flight controller. One way was to actually, you hit um, build and load to RAM and there's a, a load to EEPROM. Well, I tried the EEPROM one the first time. I read the directions, tried it. It gave me an error message, and then I, so I tried the RAM, and it worked fine. So I just assumed it was a, you know, something bad, an instruction or something. So I just ignored it and went on. Well, um, that tends to find out RAM, if you know. Um, once you remove power from RAM, it disappears. So you can't burn it to RAM. You have to burn it to the EEPROM. So um, that's the only thing, to make sure you burn your program to the EEPROM when you program it and it'll be fine. Um, and it worked perfect after that. It was just my stupidity, I don't know. That has never even dawned on me that, hey, that's gonna go away. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, attach these um, ESCs to the uh, to these boom arms. Now that they, I know it all works, they, they turn the right direction, all that stuff. So um, they're saying to connect this one. Okay, I will, um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, you'll be able to see this one better. And then I'll, I'll just continue the rest of them after this. So you put it in right right before this boom arm, this boom screw in part right here. Loop it around. Okay. 
kind of holding it in place and then put that in there this at the top and then your power wires at the top So I'm going to continue this. I've got two more of these. I'll go get some more. I've got some, I think, I don't know if I have any black ones, but I've got, I'll get some other color and, and do the rest of them. So I'll be back once I get these. All right, the next step is to do, uh, just to make sure you've got a file system check. I've got all the ESCs locked down. So you got to plug the power in. And I'm going to turn my controller on. And I've got green and blue, which means it's in the assistive mode. So I'm going to take my controller and put, push them both towards the inside. And you hear the motor start spinning up. That's the, that's the prop motor spinning. And they're, they're going right now. And then to disarm it, you go to the outside and down. And that turns it off. So I know it's working. And then I can accelerate them too if you listen. Then you turn it off. So I know that's all working, so I can unhook this. So I'm ready to actually hook the propellers up now. So we've got these adapters. These came with each propeller or the with the kit. Uh, actually, they were uh, in the box of the motor, honestly. Um, I can open the bag. Uh, there's an adapter with a screw and a, two screws, four screws, sorry, and a washer and a nut on top of it. And it says to actually remove the nut and washer from the top of each one of these. So I'm going to take these all off. Okay, first thing to do. Next, we're gonna um, attach the, the adapter to the, to the actual motor housing. And is there a certain one? It says tiny screw until you begin to feel resistance and turn one eighth more. So, I'm gonna get all these screws in here actually. I think it'll be easier if I do it before I lay it on there. We're gonna be small enough for that. No, I don't think my bit's gonna be small enough. We'll see, but I don't think it's gonna be. Oh, yeah, I think it's gonna be okay. There are one set of screws that are, are smaller and they're more inside than the other ones. There's actually uh, eight screw holes. Looks like screw holes on the other side. It might just be holes. They look like screw. They look like they have threads in them. 
So, but you're gonna stay on the, um, like the inside smaller ones. That's what these attach to. Okay, I'll give them another turn. And you just do that for the, the other ones. So we've got these propellers, and these are the um, two two R's and two L's. So these are to the are the L's, and I believe they are, they say what they are on the propeller itself. So let me see. Yeah, it says MR on them, so that's one set, and you need the, the spacers for them too. These right here. And then I might as well go ahead and do the, the R's. And they say um, MRP on those, and you need those spacers as well. Okay. So we want the spacer that looks like, okay, you got the really skinny one right here, down at the very bottom uh, left for me. You want this one right here, that, that adapter right there, and there's no number or anything on it. So, but that's the four adapters, or the, um, whatever they're called, the little adapter. That's the one you want. So. Skinny side to your bottom left, and it's going to be the top one on the left. Yeah, and you're just going to put those on each one of the shafts, the screw shafts. Uh, do you have to screw them on? Uh, It's almost like I have to screw that on. It's... No, you just really have to push them. I think screwing them might be easier. There we go. And it only goes down to the bottom of the thread, so. Oh, that one slid right down. That one slid right in. So there's just that one that was kind of tied in the middle. Yeah. Weird how that one, I mean, it goes up and down, but it's, it, it is pretty tight. All right, so place your propeller. Let's see, this is one towards me. Attach a CR, dub, CWR. I don't remember which one CWR was. Okay, 
the far one is the one that says MRP. So MRP is the right one. And it says put the put it so the writing um, is up on the motor one. So this is motor one. It's gonna go right there. It says the sharp edges should be towards the, the bottom, so they are. Here's the washer. I'm trying to see how far down they go. It doesn't look like they go down too far. I'm not getting any resistance really right now. Okay, now it's starting to get a little bit. Not really. I need a nut driver. Tell you what, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a, a nut driver or a wrench. Okay, I got a 5 16th inch nut driver and that'll work so much better. Okay, final resistance says so turns a quarter of a turn more. And that's probably about as tight as I can get it. It does go all the way down to the to the shaft on the motor. So, so you just do, um, let's see, we put that one on there. The other R1 goes on number three. Yeah, and the other ones go on the other post. The, uh, the L's which are, um, their label on here is the MR. Okay. And that's pretty much it. It's ready to, it's ready to fly. It's ready to go. And I can't do it in here because I'm not going to do it in the house. I don't want, to, don't want it to fly around the house or anything. So, um, so yeah. Get you back over to me. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this assembly video. Um, really wasn't a whole lot to do, um, you know, as far as the software goes. I did skip over that part, but um, I could have recorded on my computer screen and done it, but um, I don't know, this really wasn't a whole lot to do. If you follow the directions and actually follow the directions and not like me and um, click the wrong button, do EEPROM instead of RAM, um, it, it was very smooth, it ran perfectly. Um, the pairing process for the transmitter and the receiver was painless, just follow the step-by-step -step directions, it was really easy. Um, overall, it's pretty fun. It's, uh, I do want to at some point in time work on putting a camera mount on here, so I will have to um, um, get some kind of system to where I can mount a, um, you know, a camera on here, because I do have a camera mount, uh, I mean, I do have a camera I want to do on here, and you can probably put them, you know, on the two sides right here. Um, I'll just have to figure out where to put it at. Now, the battery does kind of get in the way of, uh, well, you got your two radio receivers on one end, and you got your battery the whole length of the other side, so um, I guess I can move my receivers somewhere else to where I have uh, the, the center screw holes to where you can put the camera at. Um, you can do the camera on the top. I really hate to do that because it throws it makes it a little top heavy that way. So I'd much rather do it on the bottom. But pretty cool, um, pretty cool build. I enjoyed doing it. Now I can't wait to fly. And no, I'm not going to record it because I've never flown one before. So I'm sure my flying would be horrific. But um, but I will um, once I get it up and running. Maybe if I maybe if I start flying it well, then I'll post a follow up video and you can see that. So so anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment below if you have any comments or suggestions or things you um, you had issues if you built one and uh, I'll catch you next time